Hey guys, and welcome back. Well, prayers are going up for the family of stand-up comedian and writer David A. Arnold, who died uh, at 54. Now, the stand-up comedian writer, he passed away uh, on Wednesday, and his family confirmed his death on Wednesday in a statement. Uh, and it said, It is with great sadness that we confirm untimely passing of our husband, father, brother, and friend, David A. Arnold. Now, David passed away peacefully today in his home, and doctors have ruled the cause of death to be natural causes. Please keep our family in prayer and respect our privacy at this time, as we are all shocked and devastated by his loss. He was just three stops into his planned cross-country comedy tour at the time of his death. A Cleveland native, Arnold was known by many for his stand-up comedy and art he began practicing when he turned 18. Now, starting off as a club comedian, popular venues like the Comedy Store and the Laugh Factory, he went on to receive his own Netflix comedy special. David A. Arnold, Fat Ballerina, premiered in 2019, while his latest, David A. Arnold, It Ain't For The Week, premiered in July. Now, Arnold also broke barriers as a writer in Hollywood, writing for popular shows like Meet the Browns and Tyler Perry House of Pain on TBS and Raising Whitley on OWN. He also wrote and produced on Fuller House, Netflix's popular Full House reboot series. Now, with that girl Lele, for which the writer created and served as showrunner, Arnold became one of the few black showrunners currently heading shows in Hollywood. Nickelodeon also revealed a statement regarding his passing, saying in part that it is a shocking and incredibly sad. The statement also reads, David was an immense talent, a gifted storyteller with a wide range of fans, from adults through his stand-up to kids and family through Nickelodeon shows he created and executive produced for us. That girl, Lele, on behalf of everyone at Nickelodeon, we send our thoughts and condolences to his family, his friends, and fans. Now, Arnold is survived by his wife, Julie L. Harkness, as well as his two children, Anna Grace and Ashley. Yes, well, his family has my condolence, and I will keep them in my prayer, and hopefully you will too. All right, guys, that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching my video. I hope that you will like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And as always in parting, be blessed, y'all.